Hello everyone and welcome to another Yorkies Bits and Bobs Home Tech. Today we have another unboxing, as you can see. And it should be a power bank because I haven't actually opened the outer case yet. So it's showing me batteries and I ordered battery power bank. So hopefully that's what's inside. So with that, I'll get it out and then I can talk about it. So we'll do this bit of the unboxing first. A nice bit of packaging from Amazon. No overkill, well hopefully not. Oh, there you go. Chuck that floor out of the way. Right, so here it is, power bank. I bought it on Amazon and it's sold by a company called iPossible. But on their website it says iPossible Power Bank. That's how it's wrote on there. It's a portable charger, has 24,800 milliamps of power. It has what they call a high capacity external battery pack with four LED lights and ultra compact high speed charging for iPhones, iPad, Mac, Samsungs and many more. So uh, we will try that later. We'll, we'll have to charge it up first and I'll plug in my Nexus 6, so I have a Nexus 6 and also I will plug in my tablet and see if it charges that okay. So uh, with that, we'll have a quick look around the box and then uh, we do the unboxing. There's nothing much to say really, just this power bank on the front and, and a bit of information about the company itself. And a bit of writing on the back side. Please use this product in accordance with the enclosed instructions. Ignoring the instructions may cause fire or other damage, so make sure you follow the instructions. There's nothing on the sides. Like I say, a bit of writing on the back and that on the front. So with that, We'll do the unboxing. Got a tiny cut there. Let's get her out. So it comes with a USB. And it looks like a really tiny USB as well. Or the actual length of the lead. Let's have a look. Yeah, so not very big at all, is it? So it has a USB on one side and a micro USB on the other side. So that's that. So that's probably for the, that is for the charging, not pro probably is. That is for the charging. And then what do we have here? Oh, we have some basic instructions by looking at it. So a power bank, nice little picture on the front. Uh, comes in different languages and gives you the basic instructions. So one, two, three, four pages and then Changes language, so not a lot to read. Just tells you about charging, how to charge it up, a bit of product information. So that's that. So it shouldn't take too long to get, a, you know, get on with it. Let's get this little thing out. It comes in nice material. It's quite nice. Oops, there you go. So first initial feel. It feels a bit slippery. So it has an on-off switch up there, and four LEDs. So we we'll press that and lights up. So we've got one one bar charge, which is probably standard anyway for uh, sending it around the world. Give it a quick charge up first, a little charge to transport. And then on the, on the other side, on the side, you have two USBs and then a micro USB in the middle. See that? Try and keep it still. And that's about it. There's a bit of uh, information uh, like the CE markings and that on the back and tells you what the product is. That's about it. So that's a look around. What we do now is I'll fully charge it. So you've got all four bars. And then I'll test it on my phone for charging that and also on my tablet and see how well it does. Right, so I gave it a five hour charge. But it's recommended that you give it a 12 hour charge, but I've just done a five hour charge for now just to uh, see if it works all right. And if you want to see if it's fully charged, just press the button once and it shows you the bars. I've got a full selection of bars, so that means that's fully charged. But the first time around, you need to do a 12 hour one. But as we're just testing it, I'm just going to do a quick five hour charge and then test it. And if you want to turn that off, just double press that and it will go off. So that's that done. So what we do now then, I'll move my camera closer so we can look, look at these devices and you can watch me plug it in and we'll see if it charges them. And hopefully it should do, fingers crossed. Right, so this is the uh, battery bank. So what we'll do, we'll plug it into this first. 
my uh, Asus Sempad. This is the original lead that actually came with it. Plug that in, plug it into the side, and the light comes on straight away, and that's come on straight away, and if you can see up there, it's charging. So what we're doing now is we're plugging in my phone at the same time, that going to sleep mode. And hopefully this should do the same. Turn it at 53 percent. This uh this is not the proper lead I use. Oops, press the wrong button. Oh wait. Right, yeah, see they're charging. So they're both charging, let's just double check, make sure they're both charging at the same time. Get that back on again. So you can see it's got electric going through it, it's at 53% and that's charging as well. So they're both charging at the same time, so that works fine. And it's still on. So yeah, so it would charge up a Zenpad, or Zenpad 3 anyway. So it should charge up anything that takes a USB connection for charging. And it charges up my Nexus 6, so that works brilliantly. So I'm very pleased with that. Right, so that's it for this uh, unboxing, review and test of the iPossible battery charger. As you can see, it's charging up my tablet and my phone at the same time. So luckily it's got two connections on the back. I will unplug it after the video because I need to do a proper 12 hour charge. But yeah, I think it works fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask some other people to try it on their phones just to make sure. But I can't see it being any problem. So... Does it get the Yorkies thumbs up? Yes, it does. I'm very pleased with it. It does what it says on the tin. You know, charges up your phone and your tablets and whatever else device you may have. So yeah, I think it looks quite nice. It's quite a nice feel to it. It's got no logo or nothing on it. It's just plain with the four LEDs. And you can turn it off as well. See, so it's not charging. And turn it back on. Oops, one press for it on, not two. Two for off, one for on, and I broke it. <laughs> Just kidding. So yeah, I'm very pleased with it. So uh, I'll give it, I'll give it a thumbs up. It's easy to use. The instructions are not brilliant. It doesn't tell you it takes 12 hours to charge up. It's only because I looked on the Amazon website and read some of the comments. That in there, it tells you uh, give it 12 hours for a proper full charge. So that's that's what I'm going to do right now. And uh, yeah. That's it, that's the end of this uh, little video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any comments, please post them below. And if you like this video, give me the thumbs up. And if you thought it was crap, give me the thumbs down. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Oh, and please subscribe.